welcome to wikiriki.com so today's topic we're just going to see about the full form of gnu and everything about it if you want to read about the gnu just navigate to this url over here open your browser and go to wikiriki.com slash full form slash gnu full form so you probably have our website over here so that you can able to read a lot of information about gnu so what this gnu stands for so gnu stands for gnu not unix it's a unix like computer which is an operating system but unlike unix it is a free software and contains no unix code it is pronounced as g nu which is like sometimes also written as a gnu which is like general public license and it is based on the gnu hardware kernel and it's intended to develop and share the software for free of charges of all its all users as is a uh, the source code is online which is for free which is an open source as well its logo is gnu which is like head of a large dark anthropomorphic extended head it's originally designed by the etni suzbeya later by the hackert by designed by the easy to the boulder of versions of this logo as well which represents the gnu software and the project its free its software foundation materials so we'll be having when it was started by which is like uh, richard stallman in 1983 and the development began on january 5th of 1984 the most objective of gnu was to provide a free software which is similar to unix so it is named as the unix like computer but not contains no unix code as well which is available in multiple languages as well so don't you just having lot of information about it you can able to read it from our site it will be having the history and objectives of it and the next thing is like we'll be having the components of gnu which is like a uh, gnome dos uh, desktop environment so we'll be having the gnu c library and we'll be having the gnu debugger we'll be having the gnu compiler collection and we'll be having the bash shell gnu binary utilities and much more gnu core utilities as well so these are the components of gnu you can able to read it from here and uh, we'll be having the advantages of gnu what is the advantage what is the need of going for this gnu just like we'll be having the multitasking it's actually low cost it's actually free of course it's open source and the software packages it's network uh, friendliness and its performance so good compared to uh, unix and much more and we'll be having uh, compatibility and configuration so good and user friendly and stable and so secure so these are the main advantages of the gnu is like and we having the license of it so the richard stallman wrote the license for the development of this needed software as well so this license is used by the most gnu software is also for a lot of free which is like uh, they aren't any parts of gnu projects which is actually open source as well so these are the pretty good information about the gnu and everything about gnu you can able to read it from our site so uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day